Okay, we are going to do the males first that are married or living with someone in reference to their ex. Okay, so what I'm sensing here for some of you, <clears throat> absolutely, the month of September. The month of September it brings so many wonderful changes to a lot of us. So uh, beforehand, you know, I'm telling you that all, most of us will hear back from those exes, okay? One way or the other, whether it's good or bad, we will have some type of contact, some type of knowledge of them or them of us. And because it's a universal change that we're going through, uh, as of right now, you know, I'm under, I, uh, I got affected with the hurricane situation here in Texas. And so, but I, I, I still devoted myself to what I do best, which is my predictions. And also to keep me, you know, occupied in reference to all that is going on. It did affect me for a little bit, but not as much, you know, and so therefore I continue what I do the best and what I love doing. Um, so being said that, um, what is, what I'm sensing is that the universe, the universe is making some changes to all of us one way or the other, mentally, physically, or emotionally, or spiritually. So prepare yourself for those things as of right now. In this month of September, before the year is over, it's the universe, it, the universe is saying, ask, ask and receive. So be patient, be grateful, be thankful, and, and show that as well to the ones that you love. Even though they're your enemies, you have to find peace within yourself to move forward, okay? I feel that, um, it's closer time for a lot of us, okay? Mentally, physically, or emotionally, or spiritually, it's closure time one way or the other so we can move forward into new beginnings, new settings, okay? So if someone from the past comes back to you, it's either to close some certain chapters or begin certain chapters with or without that person. It's all for the best of our benefit, whether we may see it or not, okay? Now, for those Taurus male that are married or coupled up. Uh, in reference to this person that you're asking, um, I feel that they are coming back. Uh, you're going to either hear from them or they're actually traveling to come and see you. Uh, we are, as of right now, September the 1st, 2017, in this reading. So they are on their way, either within three, three days, three weeks, most of you or some of you will hear back from that person. You are still in love with the ex. Um, and, you, and so either you're going or they're coming to you and they will... I feel that the conversation will be very honest between some of you. Okay. Yeah. It's absolutely some of you are devastated because you are in love with that ex and the ex is still in love with you. For This is for these males that are thinking of their exes. They're either married or living with someone. Okay. I feel that for some of you, um, there, of course, there was a betrayal going on, vice versa, but there's still love between that situation. And some of you have to realize that, you know, um, is your love bound to your spouse or to your um, ex-partner? I feel for you, it's to your ex-partner. Okay. Um, yes, for some of you, it's telling me that you're willing to give them a second chance to that other person or they're thinking to give you a second chance and they will talk to you about that situation or you will talk to them about that situation within within seven days or within seven weeks um, or, or or on September the 7th, it could be, or the 17th or the 27th, okay, for some of you. Um, <clears throat> and for some of you, it's telling me that, they, um, you know, you're hoping that they will come and talk to you. For some of you, I feel that you will actually literally see the person uh, very shortly, it's telling me within within um, within a week, some of you are going to see your ex or hear about your ex. Uh, I feel that um, <clears throat> for some of you, you know, uh, you either are in a relationship with another male, and so you're not willing to let go of the person that you are with right now, but you're going to see the person, your ex, and you're going to let them know how you feel at the very least, or they will let you know at the very least, okay? For some of you are having a hard time, either you or your ex is having a hard time dealing with this situation of the separation between you. They're having, they're having not, they're not sleeping well. Um, you know, it's affecting their marriage life even right now because they're missing you tremendously or you're missing them tremendously. And for some of you are actually even having conflict within your spouse because of this situation. But I, I feel that, um, they're overall, you're still hoping, you know, for that person. And uh, for some of you, I just, I, I don't see that conversation going on. I see it prolonging still for September, okay? Um, so you need to be careful because for some of you, due to the fact that there's an ex, there is conflict within your spouse situation right now. Maybe they found out and therefore that's why you broke up. 
Okay, for some of you, you're contemplating or they're contemplating uh, the situation of, of trying to make a decision between you and their ex because the, there was too much betrayal, too much backstabbing, too much uh, hard words, even physical contact at, at times, you know, with that other ex or vice versa. Uh, but you, you're just not willing to let go because you feel that you need to be there with your family, okay? For some of you, absolutely, you feel that the ex or the or the ex is feeling this way. That they feel that um, you know you were good to them emotionally, physically, and mentally, and they want to reach out to you. They just don't know how. Um, okay. For some of you, absolutely, they're coming your way. I don't know if they actually moved out of the city or out of the country, but they're traveling. They're just waiting to hear from you or vice versa. Uh, but that way, they will be out. Um, will be it's lifted, and they will find a way to communicate with you, and you're going to be very happy to hear from them. Is saying for some of you, okay. Um, so there you have it. For some of you, I see, I, I see conflict between you and that person when you contact them. Okay. For some of you, you feel that, yes, it was a beautiful thing to be in a third party situation. I, I, I feel that I'm sensing here. Okay. And you will continue to have a third party relationship with someone else. That is what I'm seeing. Now, let me do the females that are married or, or living with someone in reference to their ex. Let's see what the universe has to say for these Taurus. I kind of show me what must I need to know. Show me what must I need to know. I kind of for the females that are married. Or a couple of them. Let's see the rest. Show me. Okay. Well, absolutely. Again, it's a it's a very positive energy. Uh, there's a soul connection here for some of you. Okay. For some of you are going to hear that the that the person is trying to break up with their other partner. Is what I'm sensing here. For these female, female Taurus that are in a relationship uh, in reference to their ex, I feel that you're going to have news in reference to that person and they want to reconcile for some of you, okay? They want to reconcile. They want to reach out to you. Um, so it may happen probably in the middle or the end of September for some of you. Remember, September 23rd, it's a, it's a, it, that week is going to be a miraculous week for Oh, most of us and so if you like a spell contact me below and i will still have them on sale it's, it's a good energy month to do any kind of work for loved ones or whatever kind of spell you want to do okay so keep that in mind or even if it's just a cleansing to clean your energy from all those past negative energies okay sometimes we need to do that ourselves in order to uh, restore our balance within our spiritual bond okay kind of show me what must need to know show me what must need to know kind of for the female Taurus, female Taurus that are married or single and to their ex. Okay. Vice versa, it could be you or your ex that is trying to find a way to contact you. They're very hurt about the fact that they left you uh, because, you know, you are married. And so even though they tried or you tried to work the situation, you know, with them, uh, they're still hurt that you left them uh, and left them out in the cold, in other words, okay? And they're actually willing to work it out, the same. For some of you, you, absolutely, it's a beautiful reading. You will hear back from them. Um, you will hear back from them. And when the, when you hear from them or you go to them, I feel that this will be a more stable uh, relationship with your ex for some of you. For some of you, I absolutely see contact, uh, but it's just going to be a, a, a conversation of she said, he said, and just a conversation of, you know, just hurt and pain between you two. And so therefore I do not see reconciliation. I see, I see communication, but hard communication. Okay. For some of you, you're thinking that they moved on or they're thinking that you moved on. Um, and so, and you're willing to stay within your marriage is saying here, even though they're willing to offer you something, something, uh, a fresh new start, you know, from the relationship. But it's just too many conflict because you are a family woman or men. Um, let me see here what I'm seeing here. For some of you, you know, you're contemplating, you know, whether or not to stay within your marriage or to look forward uh, with the ex. Okay. It could be the ex thinking this way. They're contemplating because um, they're no longer happy within their marriage, even though they broke up because of this situation. This third party situation could be for some of you. Uh, but they're, you're wondering whether or not, you know, this could be salvaged for some of you. It's what they're thinking. So therefore, they're still holding out, you know, to contact you or you contact them. For some of you, I see communication coming along and I see, I see you, you know, waking up thinking, 
uh, you know, whether or not to reach out to them or they're thinking that I, they're debating whether or not to do so. For some of you, I feel that it will not be a phone call, but it could be just a text through Facebook or even just through phone. Okay. For some of you, it's absolutely a love made in heaven. In other words, it's what you're thinking or they're thinking. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that you're not together, but for, it's, it's just periodically is telling me that m the majority of you will have some type of way, some type of communication with that person. It's telling me because absolutely, there you go. There is, we just leave it at that. It's telling me that for some of you females that are married or, or living with Taurus, I feel that absolutely you will reunite with that ex uh, for this month of September because they're missing you, because they're wanting to be with you. And for some of you, you actually have children uh, by or with that other person. And so because of the children's sake, I feel that you will reunite. Okay. And not only that, but I still feel love between both of you. Okay. So now we are going to do, sorry about that, excuse me. Okay, so I've been busy, I've uh, been quite busy in, due to the hurricane situation. I put everything on hold and I'm, uh, and this helps me to distract myself as well, you know. So, but now let's do the singles. I kind of show me what my to need, needs to need to know now that I'm talking fast. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that. Um, for the single males out there, Taurus, uh, it's telling me that uh, you're being debated. You know, you have to balance the, the situation that you have right now within yourself or with or, or with the other person. It could be vice versa that they're thinking that way. But for certain, it's telling me that they want to reconcile and they want to come and talk to you. It may not be for the first uh, half of the September, but maybe eventually by the end of September. Okay, for sure before the year is over for most of you, it's telling me, okay? And for most of you, you know, you had a relationship with your person, with that ex within your work environment. And so, uh, and probably you moved from that position, you know, maybe they're coming back or you're going back and I see reconciliation one way or the other, physically or mentally or spiritually, okay? For some of you, you are in a male relationship uh, with another male. And I feel that um, that for some of you, you have to be the one to contact the ex because the, the, the ex is actually waiting on you to contact them. Okay. For the, this is for the single male Taurus, single male Taurus. I'm going to show me what else they need to know. What is to the ex? I feel that, you, you know, you, you decided to leave your ex or the ex decided to leave you because there was just too much conflict between the work situation for some of you. Um, but yet there was love between you and you will reconcile before the month is over for some of you. Okay. For some of you, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for that person to come and look for you. You've been holding out or they've been just sad, lonely, depressed, waiting for you to contact one way or the other. Uh, even if it's just, just to do the one night thing situation here. Okay. For some of you, your ex is either Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, that woman, uh, or sun, moon or rising. Okay. Um, let's see here what else. For some of you, you know, there was harsh words said to each other in reference to that ex or the ex was very harsh to you, um, was just, you know, they were not too affectionate with you. It's telling me, you know, and you felt that you couldn't trust them or they felt that they couldn't trust you. And so therefore they're, uh, as at this time is telling me, yes, they would like to be with you, like to hear from you, but it, it was just too much painful. So I, either you or they need a healing. Um, and for some of you, you know, uh, I feel that you're single, but yet you have kids, and that was the issue within the relationship. You know, maybe you have kids, or maybe the the the, the mother's kid was just too much involved within your relationship with that person, and so that could have been the cost of your relationship. And that ex, or your feeling that you put them first before they, okay. And so at so right now, I don't see that happening in, the, in September. For some of you, you're gonna be very happy that you actually are single, but you're dating other women. I feel. And, um, and the ex is coming back or you're going back to the ex and you're going to be seeing someone right now and going back as well with the ex. So you're going to be in a, in a three thing relationship there for some of you. For some of you, absolutely, you're reconciling with that ex. You're going forward and this time you're going to be more sincere, more honest, more open, more loyal to that person and it could be vice versa. And that is for those singles, uh, male Taurus. For some of you, you're going to have, um, uh, fights, verbal arguments. Uh, they're going to come to the picture because supposedly one of you are supposed to be holding out and waiting to see if things get better and it didn't and then they find out that you or them are seeing someone else, okay? That's for some of you. 
Okay, now let's do the single porous females. They're gonna show me what else they need to know. I guess they all wanna continue playing here. <laughs> They're like, we're not done. Okay, not gonna show me what else they need to know for those single female porous, single female porous in reference to their ex, single female porous. Thank you, Arcanos. Okay, for the single female porous, it's a yes. Right now you're sitting, sitting there waiting. And it, it's, sometimes it's good to see the hangman because you need to put yourself in that position to, uh, recognize what it is you're looking for, what it is you're needing. Especially if you're single, uh, it's time for you to just kind of see where you want to head in your life. You know, sometimes you have, sometimes uh, you just have to put yourself in that position. I feel that for some of you, uh, you're done sitting and waiting for that ex or the, or the ex is done sitting and waiting for you. And so therefore they're going to take a chance without recognizing what could be ahead. And, and they're looking forward to, and they're absolutely coming to you within the next three days, three weeks. Okay. It could even be three months, but I don't see that for some of you, but, um, uh, it's a, it's a very positive, uh, with a, with a major arcanas, it's a yes to me for most of you. Okay. Now, can I show me what must I need to know? Now, remember, if you remain yourself positive, then yes, you will have a positive outcome. Totally. You know, but don't expect just because say thank you to the universe for bringing my so and so back. Don't expect it to be within 24 hours. For some of you, it is and it will be. But you have to give uh, the universe a chance to work the energy out too. Because they have to see your spirit and theirs to see if it will be a good thing for you. Okay? Now. For these female single stars. Oh, yeah. You don't want to fight anymore. You want to give in to this relationship, vice versa. And I see reconciliation. But I feel that you will contact them and be with them or at least see them. But you're not going to end in good notes with them before the month is over for some of you. Okay? For some of you, um, I feel that, I, you know, yes, you are the single female, but maybe that other ex is not. And so, therefore, that was the breakup of this situation for some of you because he was a family man. And so, and you you had to leave because maybe their spouse found out and you're very distraught. But I feel that that man will contact you before this month is over for some of you. For some of you... Um, I don't recommend you reaching out to your ex because all you're going to have is uh, physical, um, physical, uh, verbal communication that is not going to be to your liking or vice versa. And so, and why? Because you're going to find out that they moved on. You thought they were going to sit there and wait for you or vice versa and they moved on or you moved on. Okay. For those female Taurus out there that are single, um, you know, it's, it's, yeah, everything was so good when you were with them and but now you're feeling like you left out in the cold is saying so therefore I don't see communication for this month of September even though for some of you are going to try even to text them but not hear back is what I'm sensing for some of you for some of you you know you're reaching out to them and they're reaching out to you but I feel that they don't live close to you so they're going to come and see you and then you're going to be sad and lonely that they left again in the month of September for some of you for some of you, um, there is something in order that the ex, uh, you know, you, this is for the, for the females that are single Taurus. For some of you, you're single right now, but because you're going through a divorce. Okay. Um, and you're, and they're thinking whether or not to actually go through the divorce. I see for some of you, no. And for some of you, yes. Okay. Because if you, there's too much heart pain, you're not going to willing to let go. For some of you, you will have communication by them. I feel that they will be the ones reaching out to you and they will confess to you that they're still in love with you. Uh, for some of you, you're being away from that person for even up to a year, five months to a year, you've been away from them and all of a sudden in September, you hear back from them and they will be honest to tell you that they're still in love with you, okay? Yes, and for some of you, you know, you, there's a message coming or you going through them, to them and um, I see the conversation happening but I feel that you're not going to see them in this month. I just see open communication, but not not physically seeing them this month in September for some of you. Okay. For some of you, you know, you are in a, in a female, female relationship and it's not going to be to your liking to know through a third party situation that they already moved on to someone else. Okay. I, and for some of you, absolutely, it's a beautiful thing. They're going to have, they're right now contemplating whether or not to contact you or you are contemplating whether or not to contact them. Uh, is saying, but because there's a lot there between you two, I feel that there will be some type of communication, even if it's just a hello kind of situation through Facebook or, in, or a WhatsApp or any kind of communication. I feel that some of you will just have a 
a simple communication by phone, if that may be, you know, but nothing physical, at least for this month of September. Okay, but it's still a good sign. Okay, now I will do the mistress, and it is what it is, and uh, uh, that's it, you know, even even to the best of us, happens, and we end up being in that situation without even wanting it. Okay, so it is what it is. Now, for the mistresses, this could be vice versa, male or female, you or them thinking. Okay, for the mistresses that are Taurus, mistresses that are Taurus, for the sign. For the mistresses, I cannot show me what must take now. Okay. Well, for some mistresses out there, uh, absolutely the communication will come, but it will not be to your liking. It's just plain and simple. That's what it says. For some of you, I feel that you're still waiting, you're still lonely, and, and some of you are actually very depressed. And so I need I need you to snap out of that, okay? Because you're very depressed, very lonely, and you want them to come back, and you're willing to put your you're willing to work in this situation. It's telling me for some of you. For some of you, you're uncertain. You don't know what's going on in, in that other uh, person's uh, situation. You don't know nothing of their situation since they left you, and you don't you just you just don't know. For some of you, you're actually spying on them, either through media or basically spying on them to see if you can find anything about them. It's telling me, or vice versa, maybe they're doing that too. Okay, now show me, show me, show me, show me for the mistresses of the sign of Taurus for the month. September 2017. Reference to the X. Let's see. Communication certainly is coming for most of you out there. Uh, the communication is coming, but it's not going to be to your liking, to your pleasing, because they're not willing to let go of their uh, family situation. For some of you, they are coming. You know, you've been in this third party relationship for quite some time. It's telling me, okay, they, you and him, or, or vice versa, are going to have a, some type of uh, communication uh, that is going to be to your liking, you know, or their liking, uh, because you're willing to hold out and wait for as long as it, it takes. It's telling me. For some of you, absolutely, um, you know, they. You will have the messages or they will come to you, or they will see you, or you will go to them and see you, and you're going to find out some good news in reference to you and them. Maybe they are wanting to let go of their spouse, you know, or distance themselves from their spouse, you know, not not physically, but mentally. Um, but for some of you, that won't be the case because they're actually literally wanting to work situation out with their, with their uh, spouse. Uh, it could be vice versa, you or them, you know. So, and they want to stay within the marriage. And so it will be an upsetting news to hear that, okay? But you will hear from them one way or the other, okay? Uh, for some of you, this was just a third party of too much betrayal, too much dishonesty from probably even both ends. And so if you hear from them, it, it will be, to my suggestion, at this time, you're not ready for that or they're not ready for that to come back to you, okay? Uh, for some of you, you love them and they love you uh, and they will come to you. For some of you, I'm telling you that they're going to come because they miss you and they miss being sexually with you, not necessarily the, ment the mental stage, but the sexual the sexual contact, okay? And they're going to go back and leave you for, again, another five months to five weeks. For some of you, um, even though there's love from you or from them on this third-party situation for those stores, um, they're going to be very harsh on the communication, okay? You're going to hear that they probably even moved on with someone else, even though they're married uh, or you're married. Um, for some of you, I feel that you're going to have um, um, either a physical contact, a uh, physical fight with the with the person that you were seeing or vice versa or with their spouse, okay? And you're going to know that you know, they're going to know or they find out, so therefore it's just... It's, it's a no good situation if you find out, if they communicate. It could be that their spouse is going to communicate your ex, you know, your spouse or their spouse is going to communicate you instead of them. Okay. So be, be aware that, that the 501 tells me that there's going to be conflict in there, physical or mentally. Okay. And for some of you, absolutely. You've been waiting for them for even up to 10 weeks, you know, 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months even. Uh, but you're going to have to news at the end of the month for some of you, okay? 